Good morning. Uh, this is December 16, 2022. Uh, I'm talking about my crazy pro project. Uh, this is the bot. Um, the bot got name. Uh, I was complaining at home about how difficult she is and call her beauty queen and the name stuck. So basically all family calls her beauty queen. So this is pro beauty queen. Uh, the boat I built nine years ago uh, sailed about three times, uh, three days, and then just packed wet, and it was sitting in the storage for uh, backyard and basement and whatever I could put it for nine years. Just life got in the way. Uh, finally, this September, I said that I need to work on this boat, so I started working on it, and very much i complete most of the parts so it sails and sails nicely except i'm just working a little details so the deck area right now i have lashed the just <laughs> the table top from the folding table uh, it's not gonna be like this uh the the deck will be redone but that is what it is right now and don't look at the uh, how uh, how badly she looks i will uh, uh my next project after i finish all the sea trails i'm gonna put a new, nice cut on it and make it looks nice and beautiful all right anyway so rudder system and the control system of the boat so there are lots of unusual things uh i put lots of thinking in the boat uh my idea was that the boat need to be pedaled easy as well as sailed so lots of controls worked around how to make it possible so a uh, pedaling station right now is the front in front of the mast whatever side is the front is if i sail it solo it could be sailed with the two people at all though though it's tight uh, but is one person i can sit in this well uh, facing um, facing forward and pedal on both sides of the cockpit um, just with a regular either canoe or uh, kayak pedal all right um, so this is sailing and pedaling boat it's very light i build it very light i use the lots of carbon fiber and the, the plywood is only four millimeters so the boat is light is I, I haven't waited uh, lately but it should be under 160 pounds right now uh, so uh just because uh i was constrained by the pedaling requirement i decided that i go with the cable system for steering which allows me to control the uh, rudders from anywhere on the boat. So the, the steering system is designed, uh, there are relatively small arms, so, and one, two, three perches on the cables. So on the, on the cable itself, the load from the arms multiplied by three, I mean, divided by three, so it's three times lighter than on the, on the arms here. Uh, I can, there is a, another part, is a locking mechanism. It's a very uh, fun one. Um, so when I sail, I lower rear rudder and the front rudder goes almost all the way up. I need about only about foot in the water, maybe even less than that. Uh, and I lock the front rudder. So the front rudder locks, here is a locking mechanism right here. Um, as you can see the cleat in line and I can reach the cleat in line from the cockpit I'll show you from the deck and basically I can unlock the rudder it was locked and then it's easily moved nice so and lock it and it's locked um so let's go another side uh the deck area cockpit so as i said there is a um, steering cables on both sides identical it's locked on both sides right now so i need to unlock it there is this line unlock it
so it's unlocked right now and I can steer it easily going back and forth I splice some knots in it just another rope because the line itself is a, a slippery so I can always grab it nicely and as you can see it moves with ease another feature is a, a remote lowering and raising the board so I have two lines blue one is down hole if I push it board goes down if I pull the red line board goes down up uh, this is two lines I pull one and board going down pull another one board goes up identical uh, setup on another side of the board uh, so and so basically it's a very simple setup I got a little pole here uh, and which brings the rudder up and another side just blocks to pull it down um, as you could see the the axle rotation axle of the boat and the uh, blade itself not aligned so by this I achieve uh, balancing of the rear rudder I cannot uh, balance the front one but I locked front one and the rear one is just works with just a, a, like a regular rudder as you can see this this is a line of the rotation and at some point I can lower too far but as you see the, the part of the rudder becomes in front of the rotation axle axis and um, thus it creates the balance another neat feature of the of the rudders uh, and its boxes that the rod uh, box rudder box rudder cassette is not uh, it's open so if I run into any problems the rudder will um, flip and then I just need to just lift it a little bit and go straight into spot again and it holds there pretty nicely same same way with the going forward even when going forward I don't really need much of the area I need about this much area of the boat to sail uh, <coughs> Even I hit something, uh, it goes like this. It's not going all, all, all the way out, and so it basically stays on the same depth. But at least it's it um, absorbs the heat and also drives the boat up uh, instead of just hard stopping. So it works. This is a rather. Uh, I think I cover everything right now. Uh, yeah, the boat itself sails nicely and it's very we we weatherly. It goes to wind like real good. Um, so the, the, the hull is technically three sheet hull. So it's a flat bottom, but I didn't just get the plywood together. I tortured it. So it has a nice round shape in every surface, including uh, bottom of the boat. I'm not gonna flip the main hull, but we can look under the outrigger. Yeah, and you can see nice curve in it. It's not precisely flat. And also I worked real hard I mean, I got this, I softened chins. I put a nice radius in it. Basically, there is a fiberglass only on the, on the chin, so it's fiberglass. It's, there is no plywood. Uh, basically, I cut out plywood and um, glassed on both sides. So basically, stitch and glue 
first station glue, then tor tor torture, and then I put the uh, epoxy and balloons in the corner, glass from inside, and then I just um, sand outside corners and glass it on outside. So this is the boat. Uh, I like how it sails. I mean, it's been quite a lot of work and I still in the process of uh, making it better, but it sails. It's a nice boat. All right, uh, that's about it. I want to cover today and wait for my next videos. A little addition, um, I forgot to mention it. Uh, the rudders itself are mm, uh, not symmetrical. They're not symmetrical uh, left and right, uh, but symmetrical uh, forward, back and forward. As you can see, I, I forgot the English English word for the for the for the profile profile, but it looks like this. Um, well, forget about handle, but the blade itself look like this, and um, and also I didn't. I'm not sure if you pick up the my. Um, I don't know locking mechanism. No, not locking. The holder is basically black, I glue it to the the little thingy so it's uh, it goes up and down very easily so it not doesn't pre prevent uh, the blade from going up and down okay and uh yes and this side of the of the box is a flat panel uh, another side is a uh, curved to the shape of the boat to the rudder so it is and it sits pretty tight there i mean there is not much play uh in the in the in the in the in the rather cassette uh so it works <laughs>